of Joshua, uh, chapter 1, and I'm going to be reading um, from verse 6 to 9. Be strong and of good courage, for unto this people shalt thou divide and inherit the land which I swear unto their fathers to give them. Only be thou strong and very courageous, that thou mayest observe to do according to all the law which Moses my servant commanded thee. Turn not from it to the right hand or to the left, that thou may pros prosper whithersoever thou goest. This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night, that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. For then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and then thou shalt have good success. Verse 9. Have not I commanded thee to be strong and of good courage? Be not afraid, neither thou be dismayed. For the Lord thy God is with thee, whithersoever thou goest. Oh, amen. We need that, you guys. All right, now we're in Philippians 4, and I'm going to be reading from 4, Philippians 4, 6 through... Let's uh, read, and we'll go on. So, verse 6, Be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication. With thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto God. And the peace of God, which passeth all understanding, shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Now, finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, and whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of good report, if there be any virtue and if any there be any praise, think on these things. Those things which ye have both learned and received and have heard and seen in me do, and the God of peace shall be with you. But I rejoice in the Lord greatly that now at the last, at the last your care of me hath flourished again, wherein ye were also careful, but ye lacked opportunity, not that I speak in respect of want, for I have learned in whatsoever state I am therewith with to be content. Amen. Verse 11. Now I know both how to be abased and I know how to be abound. Everywhere and in all things I am instructed both to be full and to be hungry, both to be abound and to suffer need. I can do all things through Christ which strengthen me. Amen. Verse 13. 413. Notwithstanding ye have well done that ye did communicate with my affliction. Ah, amen. There it is. That is an awesome, awesome verse. I love all that from, oh, wow, yeah, we read from work. So chapter 4, Philippians 4, 6 through 13. And 13 is the really good one out of there. I can do all things through Christ who strengthened me. So we read out of Joshua, and there's hope in both of these, but I want you guys to know that <clears throat> we need to be serviceable to others. We need, we need to want to help other people, and that's what this channel is about. So thank you for listening. Thank you for getting into God's word with me tonight. Pray for uh, pray for everybody out there and the people that haven't found God because they need to uh, be prayed for. So I appreciate you guys and thanks for all the awesome comments and Aldi and Cindy and and and, and so many of you guys, um, Jazz, so many of you guys and girls come on the channel and do such a great job of spreading kindness and love and, and it goes a long ways in my book. So God bless you all in the name of Jesus. We'll see you tomorrow.